Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's video features an up-and-coming and emerging bootmaker out of Dangwon, China. And this is my second makeup from this particular company. And this is the Five Eyelet Derby from XB XS Boots Factory. Now the first thing you'll recognize when you look at this particular model is that it bears a strong resemblance to a specific makeup that was recently retired by Viberg, and that is their 145 Oxford model. So the 145 Oxford was retired by Brett Viberg and his team in 2021 because they decided they wanted to go in a different direction. So the 145 Oxford was retired. So XBXS Boots Factory recently released this model in another leather and I caught notice of it and reached out to them. And sure enough, they were able to make this model for me. This is a beautiful five eyelet derby as you can see here in the five different eyelets right there. You can see that it features a beautiful suede leather that is described as a chestnut suede sourced from Primasia leathers. My suspicion is that this is a leather that originally came from Charles F. Stead, but I cannot confirm that at this time, but it feels very much like a Stead reverse leather. As you can see the leather right here and the flesh side, which reveals a beautiful milled grain leather uh, in a chestnut color on the inside. You can see that on the tongue here. This has a beautiful contrast stitching on the upper. Like the 145 Oxford, it features this half moon stitch pattern right here. But unlike the 145 Oxford, which features a single row of stitching above this double row, you can see two rows of double stitching that I think do a nice job of highlighting the slight differences between this shoe and the 145 Oxford. One thing I've always admired about the 145 Oxford was its unique styling for being a plain toe derby. It featured that half moon stitch, which you see here, as well as the stitching along the collar, which XBXS has carried over into this model, as well as a tongue that protrudes slightly above the collar of the shoe, which I found to be really nice and makes this shoe slightly more casual. Other than that, this shoe features a beautiful 270 degree stitch down construction that you can see here and you can see the precision by which XBXS Boots Factory has machined and stitched this stitch down construction. That double row of stitching ends at about 180 degrees and then continues to the back heel quarter as a single row of stitching. I believe that these shoes are hand lasted but machine stitched based off of the online videos that they feature but you can see that it's done with very very clean details. Pulling into the shoe, I wanted to give you an appreciation for the quality and consistency and the craftsmanship of the stitching done here. I hope you can appreciate that this is detail that rivals or exceeds companies such as Viberg, Whites, NYX, and other more popular makeups, but just from a newer company. You can see, you can see that the back heel features this slight seam at the bottom here. And another feature that's unique to this particular model that is different than the 145 Oxford is this slightly pitched trooper style heel from Dr. Soul that adorns a raw cord full sole from Dr. Soul as well. This is a hard wearing sole. And again, you can see the cleanliness of the stitch work done here. And we can talk a little bit about XBXS and the ordering process. And so I have reached out to XBXS via their Instagram account. They're very responsive and they were able to construct and put together a makeup from my idea to me receiving those shoes within essentially a six to seven week window. So the turnaround is quite fast. They have a team of around 50 craftsmen and uh, workers who are able to assemble these shoes relatively rapidly. So what are the benefits of a brand such as XBXS, which is new to the market well, I will say that you can take it from me, hopefully you have learned to trust me at this point, that the construction is impeccable. You're gonna get a high quality shoe made of quality materials done partly by hand as well as with machine stitching methods. So the construction is really quite good. The price point is also quite appealing. Whereas brands such as Viberg 
and others in this market price themselves between $600 and $1,000. XBXS has models that are priced typically in the $400 to $500 range, though you need to factor in shipping too, and international shipping to countries such as the US is about $100 based on their listings. The other really lovely thing I love about XBXS is the ability to customize your own shoe. So they give you a shoe that very much reminds us of the 145 Oxford, but you can choose your leather, such as this beautiful chestnut suede upper, this reverse suede. You can choose the color of your stitching if you wish. You can choose your welting method, and I chose the stitch down method here. You can even choose your sole. They have Dr. Sole raw cord full soles, but I've also seen Vibram makeups. They really do a nice job of allowing you to customize within their production limits and provide you with a shoe that is unique to you. I hope to continue to work with them in the years to come. I do not think you'll be disappointed. And in fact, I think you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised by the quality you get for the price for a shoe that's customized to you. Give them a try, tell them Ashwin sent you, and I hope you're all doing well. Have a good one. Bye-bye.